Infinity War, more like infinite piece of shit. Because I hate it. That's what we're talking about today. Because so many people say, Oh, Infinity War is the greatest thing Marvel's ever put out. It's so complex. No, it's not. It's simplistic. It was an absolute letdown for anyone, I think for like people like me who were still kind of like half-half on the Marvel train and weren't too sure what to expect. To paraphrase Anthony Mackie, Disney and Marvel, same shit, make films for 15-year-olds and the CCP. Which is China, just in case you didn't know. And in case you didn't know, Anthony Mackie, who plays the Falcon, mm -hmm. yeah, the motherfucker said that. And here, here are just a few things off the top of our heads that I, I have a problem with Infinity War. Can I just go straight out the bat? There was so much time and effort and emphasis spent on trying to make Thanos this complex guy, all his complex motivations, oh, my home planet, oh. I'm like, for fuck's sake, this is the one time I'm going to say it. Marvel, really, and, and the Russo brothers should have, and, and whoever the fucking screenwriters were, uh, they should have just taken Thanos do it completely like the comics, make him a mad titan, a simplistic, straightforward bad guy. So they could have focused more on important characters who you care about, like Iron Man and Captain America. And it felt way too long. Like it felt Oh my god. Long. And what about that bullshit marketing where you show the Hulk on the battlefield? Hey, yeah. And he's not in the movie. That really pissed me off because I love the Hulk. And I'm like, you don't deprive me of my Hulk! All right, they, they, they show you shit in the trailer to get your ass in the seats and then, and you know what? I remember watching it and for the, virtually the whole movie, there was no Hulk. And I remember, I remember thinking that there was a point towards the end, there was a perfect moment where Bruce Banner is inside the Hulkbuster suit. And I was like, this is the perfect moment for him to burst out because you've got Natasha Romanov and she's getting swarmed. Why didn't in that one moment, did he just burst out and Hulk out and rawr, That would have been a great payoff, but no, because those motherfuckers don't, they don't understand comics. They don't understand good story writing. Which is bizarre because, you know, I believe Kevin Feige was a former comic guy. Well, I mean, he, he had executive produced and produced several other, you know, previous comic book movies, such as the Only Hulk, which, you know, some people that would have left a bad taste in their mouth, but, um, I actually do want to drop in something from an earlier point about not focusing enough on Captain America and Iron Man. Where the fuck was Captain America in this thing? They they fall from Civil War and then suddenly they throw you in and the motherfucker makes a cameo. A ca the whole movie is just hit a giant cameo for him. My, my biggest problem with um, all of the MCU really is that they're not about stories telling good stories, good writing, it's, yeah, essentially they are freaking two, three hour long commercials for the rides at Disney World, well, and the freaking, um, you know, what do you call it, merchandise. Worst thing, there shit. wasn't even a, an Infinity War ride at Disneyland, so wasted opportunity there, but not like it would have been any payoff because the ride would have been really disappointing. Look, this whole snappy finger nonsense. Oh, okay, yeah, that's, I was going to take you back on the movie. Disney, you know, they don't understand how to handle overpowered characters. Mm. You make them so flawless, case in point, Captain Marvel, things like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, they don't know how to... If you give them so much power, you then have to spend more time on character development to show some kind of flaw they have. Otherwise, they're not interesting. Well, you've got, there's no stakes, right? There's no sense of, and it's funny that you mentioned that, because yeah. I feel like there's a bit of a segue about to happen, where uh, in the one actual big visual battle you see where you've got Doctor Strange and Iron Man they're fighting Thanos, there were two moves I saw in there. One, Doctor Strange did Kage Bunshi no Jutsu, as seen in Naruto, and Thanos used Shibaku Tensei as seen in Naruto. Which leads to the segue that Naruto was a perfect example. Granted, they had a lot of time, but so did the MCU, to set up and be able to create these large, massive, un out of worldly, godlike battles, mm -hmm. and yet still have a human heart and a human connection to it. And I just didn't feel that in this. I, I didn't feel like I gave a shit about the characters. Mm. Um, you didn't give a shit about Thanos. There was so much time spent in trying to make like, complex. like stupid things about freaking uh, Spider-Man going, oh, I'm scared, I don't want to die. But we know he's not dying. You know he's got a movie. You can't you can't pull this kind of like, oh, mm. you know, that, that was the thing that pissed me off with people who watched Infinity War at the end of it. And they were just like, oh my God, it was so insane. Yeah, Spider-Man's not coming back. I'm like, of course he does. The motherfucker signed on for a trilogy. Like, you'd have to be an absolute mong sandwich not to know that that these fuckers are not coming back. I'm like, if, if anyone who was even a Marvel or a Disney fan paid attention, they would have seen the whole, oh, the Phase 4 lineup for Disney+. Plus. 
Oh, Vision died. No, he didn't really die. He's coming back in a series. Oh, Scarlet Witch died. No, she's also got a series. Oh, Falcon died. Series. We just saw series. Spider-Man trilogy, you know. They like the balls to make, you know, moves. You, you've got to kill people sometimes. You've got to be... You've got to have the balls yeah. to kill main characters. They they opened the movie trying to start in this somber note. Oh, Loki dies. I'm like, the motherfucker's getting a Disney Plus series. How can we give a shit about his death? You know, I think it, when you have such a long-running series, you just open up the door to inconsistencies and... Mm. That's something that became very apparent and the problem is it's not like they had this massive story to begin with. There was with. no narrative bible. Yeah, it was like, okay, let's try this movie. If this makes money, we'll make another one. And then they just add on, you know, keeping shit upon shit. Well, that's why there were there were plot holes and inconsistencies that people go like, oh, you know, and it's not even about recasting issues. There was simply kind of like timeline issues and, you know, fuck me. It was, it was just... It was oh, horrible. We'll, we'll get to the ridiculousness of the end game. That is next. very likely our next video. But you know what? I think it's only fair in What, what about that, that bullshit about like... Oh, don't think of this as part one and part two. They are two separate movies. Oh my god, no. They they literally in the marketing team was like, no, Infinity War, Infinity War is its own movie. Endgame is a completely separate movie. It wasn't, it was, you know, it was initially announced as Infinity War part one and part two, which, you know, Harry Potter did it, mm. uh, fucking Twilight did it, and... Most people were fine with that, but no, they still tried to pull the wool over your eyes. But it's, you know, you, you think you're smart, but you're not. Yeah. Disney's marketing department's run by a bunch of monks. Don't put Hulk in the trailer if you're not going to put him in the goddamn movie. So all I'm going to say is, I think, subsequently from here, we were definitely shit on Endgame because there's so much to talk about there. But I think we should throw some shade because DC has done some good things in recent times, but they've also done some really stupid things too. So we're not here to take sides. Everybody's guilty. Everyone's going to get attacked. And the only one out of the comic book movies that might bring hope... SPAWN! Yeah, come, come on, McFarlane. Yeah, come on, Taddy. Taddy boy. Let's bring it home!